Hi, YouTubers. It's been some important. So, uh, discuss this right now. Uh, I went to the dentist right now. So, uh, yes, I just came back from the dentist. Nice big ass dentist, like a big ass cigar. And uh, yes, I got a good report overall. So, uh, long story short, uh, no cavities, uh, no signs of gum disease. Uh, yeah. Very good report from the dentist. The dental hygienist said I have uh, great uh, home care. My, uh, you know, brushing my teeth, nice big ass teeth, like the big ass cigar, that kind of shit, you know, uh, as in bullshit, bullshit, you know. Uh, yeah, so a uh, great report on my teeth. Uh, the, de the dentist, you know, the doctor said, yeah, I can definitely tell you're flossing. Uh, you're doing a wonderful job on your teeth. Uh, they, did, they did not comment on my pipe and cigar smoking habit, so um, it might just not come up, you know. They probably know by now that I'm a pipe and cigar smoker, you know, you know nice big ass cigar smoker. Uh, uh, big ass pipe smoker, so what they probably know by now. They probably you know know that I don't have to be lectured, you know, babied and lectured about the dangers of pipe and cigar smoking uh, because obviously I'm fully aware. I'm fully fucking aware of that shit. So uh, as in bullshit, bullshit. So uh, yeah, they did an X-ray on my teeth uh, to see for any cavities, and I had absolutely no cavities, uh, no signs of any kind of like gum recession, gum disease. I did tell them that I had, you know, obviously I have sensitive gums. Uh, I'm not sure if that's so much related to the pipe and cigar smoking habit. It's could be related to whatever, you know. I'm not really sure what that's related to. But yeah, sensitive gums, a little bit of receding gums. And they said, you know, definitely you want to avoid the mouthwash with uh, alcohol in it because alcohol can be kind of rough in the gums. You want to get like a Listerine Zero, which has like no uh, alcohol in it. Also, you want to, obviously they have told me in the past to brush uh, gently, to do little circles, as opposed to, you know, we'll go like that. So uh, anyway, that didn't look right. <laughs> yeah, big ass cigar fly, just being silly ass, like the big ass cigar. And uh, yeah, so they said next time you will be due for uh, the gum uh, and bone uh, tests where they test to see for early gum disease, but that's not until March of 2022, and I'll be almost 31 by that point. So uh, yeah. Every six months they do that. It's, it, I was actually overdue to see my dentist this time. Nice big ass dentist, like a big ass cigar, because I hadn't seen my dentist uh, since uh, August of 2020. And it's been really uh, fucking crazy because of the whole coronavirus thing, the whole COVID thing. Uh, they've been really uh, damn, damn busy at that doctor's office, you know, the, de the dentist's office. So it's been kind of hard to schedule. So I'm actually way overdue. I was actually, I was actually way overdue to see my, way overdue to see my dentist. Sorry. So yeah, I was actually way overdue to see my, see my dentist. So it was actually really good I got in there because I was way overdue. Anyway, uh, so it looks like after over t over 12 years of pipe and cigar smoking, almost 12 and a half years, it looks like the pipe and cigar smoking habit or hobby, whatever you call it, that kind of shit, you know, has, has not affected my teeth that much. So it looks like there's no sign of like early gum disease or like uh, any kind of like, you know, severe problem. I did mention I had a little bit of a uh, canker sore in my tongue. I think that's just from maybe like biting my tongue, but it's... Uh, like right there, if you can see. Yeah, just a little bit of a canker sore. It's healing, so, and you know, the dentist, the dental hygienist said, you know, is it on your lip, is it on your tongue? I showed her it was on my, the side of my tongue like that. And, you know, obviously just keep eyeing on it. If it. Obviously if it's there in like two or three weeks, then obviously you go back to see the dentist and they'll probably do like a biopsy. But I, I highly doubt that's gonna happen because I, I only get canker sores like maybe like a couple times a year and they always go away within like a, a week or so. So anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.